Hey everybody and welcome to today's Take Heart. This is our final uh, weekly Take Heart podcast. Mike mentioned that last week and uh, the reason for that is just because as, as things open up and uh, we're moving more and more to, to meeting in person, we really feel like we need to concentrate on that. It has been uh, a real joy to do this journey together over the last year and um, particularly I wanted to thank all those of you, the thousands of you actually, who have written to me to tell me that you prefer my Take Heart podcasts to Mike's. I've really appreciated you being in touch. And uh, if you wanted to write to Mike and just let him know that as well, that you prefer mine to his, I would also appreciate that. And uh, I know he will. Ha <laughs> ha, not really very funny, but I thought I'd say it anyway. Um, I, re I remember reading somewhere that to become a genius at something, to become an expert, you basically just have to choose one thing and it doesn't really seem to matter what the one thing is but what matters is just that you practice and practice and practice at it. There is a statistic that floats around that says if you give 10,000 hours of practice to one particular thing you will become an expert at it. The same is true of uh, anyone who performs at a high level in sport. You know you don't find people who are performing at a professional level who do more than one sport because in order to become super good at that one sport you just have to choose one sport. You can't be a heavyweight boxer and a triathlete, it just doesn't work. You have to choose the one thing. And for us as Jesus's people and as his followers we're going to have all sorts of challenges in the uncertain months ahead of us that's going to continue um, and my question is just, is there one thing that we could um, take hold of and, and concentrate on? And the answer is yes. And you probably know where I'm going with this. It's not something, it's someone. And all we have tried to do, I think, um, certainly with Take Heart in the last year, is just, it's just, and I've been, for me, it's just been such a um, revelation again of just, how this is the only thing that matters, which is to stick close to him, to stick close to Jesus and to look to him. And that, that, that theme of sticking close to Jesus is all the way through the Bible, this idea that God provides all that we need in his son Jesus. Um, his, one of my favourite places with it is the story of Mary and Martha, this kind of it's quite famous story, if you've been around church for a while you will have heard it, where they're in the house with Jesus and Mary is sitting at Jesus's feet and Martha is hustling and bustling around, getting everything ready. And eventually she gets really fed up with Mary. that She's not helping her out. And so goes and has a word with Jesus and says, can you sort my sister out for me? And then Jesus's response uh, is this. And, I, and again, I know these words will be familiar, but anyway, let's hear them anyway. Um, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. How many of us? does that describe at the moment? But few things are needed, or indeed only one. And then he goes on to say, Mary's chosen the one thing that's really needed, which is to sit with me and to be with me. This isn't the only place that we see that. So another of my favourite um, of Jesus' sayings comes in John chapter 15, verse 5, where he says, If you remain in me and I remain in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Another way of putting that is if you abide in me or if you make your home in me, you'll bear a lot of fruit. But without that, you won't bear any. You won't be able to do anything at all. Um, Paul, who in many ways is just this incredible, you know, his life is this incredible story of God doing just extraordinary things through him and all the pain he endured, all the suffering he had to go through. How did he keep going? Well, he gives us the answer. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, he says this. Again, another famous verse, but have we digested really the kind of the meat of it, the juice of it, the significance of it? He says, I can do all things. How, Paul? How can you do all things? Through him who gives me strength. Through Jesus, basically. Um Jesus says in John chapter 16, verse 33, this is where we got the name of the podcast from. He says this, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Peace isn't something that comes separate to him, but it comes from him. It's found in him. 
And he goes on to say, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. He doesn't say take heart, you've really got to look down inside yourself and you'll find some inner sort of resilience. He doesn't say take heart, you guys have got it, don't worry. He says, take heart, I have overcome the world because of me. Take heart because of me. And so in, in all things, it comes back to looking to Jesus, leaning into Jesus and receiving the love of Jesus and loving him in return. It, it really is all about our relationship with him. Let me just underline it again. Um, Jesus says, sitting near him is the one thing that's needed. He says that being at home in him or abiding in him is the key to being fruitful. Um, Paul says that strength for anything and everything comes from Jesus. Jesus says that we have peace in him and that we, be, we can be encouraged, we can take heart because of him. So it all comes back to him. The one thing that we want to practice and practice and practice and remind ourselves again and again and again of is it sounds simplistic so we can dismiss it but it's, it is the ABC of the gospel. It is the basis of everything. It's the foundation upon which we build. It is about relationship with Jesus. And for me, this, brief, this for me gives me two things. The first one is just a massive weight off my shoulders. I'll be honest, it is a huge relief to me because what it says is he is the source of my power, not me. He is the source of my hope. It's, it's not me or anything else in the world. It's, it's him. He is the reason I can be changed, not me. Um, it's this relief. I don't have to save myself. He saves me. That's the way round this works. Um, and then even further, I don't have to change myself, uh, and which is good because I've tried and I didn't get very far. I don't have to change myself. He changes me. He gives me a new heart. He gives a new spirit to me. He changes me from one degree of glory to another as I'm with him. So, so it's a huge relief. Um, he's the one who rescues me. Jesus is not a self-help guru. He's a savior. And he saves us. It's all about him. So that for me is a relief. And then the other thing this gives me is a focus a focus for the months ahead. Whatever happens, this is our focus. To look to him, to lean on him, to receive his love and to love him in return. That's the focus. And anything that helps us do that, great. And anything that hinders that, let's try and get rid of it. And um, one way that I've tried to think about this is, is just in terms of trying to sort myself out and sort my life out. Um, you know, and, and relying on your own abilities to do that or some clever techniques doesn't get you very far it's it's like thinking you know if you're really really cold if you're outside on a freezing cold day you want to warm up what you could do is you could try and do that just by what you can generate you know jump up and down run up and down rub your limbs together if you did that kind of thing then maybe you would raise your body temperature by a degree possibly or maybe two but there's another option available go and stand near a fire and if you stand near the fire the heat of that fire warms you up it just does because you're near it so it is with all the things we struggle with we want peace well how can we find that if we try really hard you know we want hope well how can we get that up in ourselves maybe if we if we tell ourselves the right things if we come up with some techniques we want abundance and life well maybe if we grit our teeth we can get no no in all of it we just we come and, and we're near him and so the focus for us is what can I do today that will help me be close to Jesus? That's the focus. And then that's what we can do. But the rest happens just by virtue of sitting at his feet. The solution, the answer um, that God gives the world to all of its problems and that he gives to me and to you is the gift of his son, Jesus. The riches of his glory in Christ Jesus is how Paul puts it at the end of Philippians. And so what do we do in the months ahead? We just continue as we have in the months behind, which is we look to him. It's all about Jesus. God bless.